Welcome to our lecture video in Integral Calculus with the topic Double Integrals. Now we have here equation 1. This equation means that the function f of x and y or the function of x and y is to be integrated with respect to x as indicated by the inner differential dx between the limits x1 and x2 and the result of that definite integration is to be integrated with with respect to y and that is with dy here between the limits a and b in evaluating equation one it is important to remember that first during the x or the inner integration this portion here the y or the other variables of integration is held constant so because we have here dx therefore y here is constant b or the second one the inner limits of integration x1 and x2 must be independent of x or the inner variable of integration third one the outer limits of integration a and b must be independent of both variables of integration x and y so let's solve the following examples okay for number one evaluate this equation so given this equation again let's apply what we have learned here first we are to focus on the inner integration so it's this portion here so while focusing on this inner integration take note according to letter a so during the inner integration the other variable is held constant how do we know what is the other variable if we have here the differential dx here therefore our other variable is y which is to be held as constant okay so that is equal to so let's separate the inner integration x squared plus 3y squared dx close that one then dy is outside and then take note that since we have here dx this y here is constant it's equal to 0 to 2 then integrate inside this is equal to x raised to 3 over 3 plus 3y squared x then don't forget the limits 0 to y then the dy this is equal to okay, substitute the limits so the first one will be the upper limit which is the y so substitute x with y so it becomes y raised to 3 over 3 plus 3 y squared and substitute x with y minus the then substitute the lower limit 0 so x is equal to 0 raised to 3 over 3 plus 3y squared x is equal to 0 then close that then put the y so this is already equal to 0 so that is equal to y raised to 3 over 3 plus 3y raised to 3 dy then the limits are 0 to 2 this is equal to uh, so integrate first so we have here y raised to 4 over 4 times 3 12 plus 3 
y raised to 4 over 4 with the limits 0 to 2. Substitute the limits. First one, the, the uh, upper limit. So we have there 2 raised to 4 divided by 12 plus 3, 2 raised to 4 over 4 minus the lower limit 0. So y is equal to 0 raised to 4 over 12 plus 3, 0 raised to 4 over 4. So this is actually equal to 0. So we have here 16 over 12 plus 48 over 4. And that is equal to 40 over 3 or that is 13.33. So if you have your calculator with you, we can check this if we will get the correct answer at this portion here. So let's check this part here, this definite integral here, using our calculator. So we have here alpha, or alpha x raised to 3 over 3. Plus 3 alpha x raised to 3. Then the limits are 0 to 2. Oops, let's remove the parenthesis there. So 40 over 3 or that is 13.3. So this is correct. So that's for number 1. Let's go to number 2. Evaluate the given integral. Again, let's focus the, at the inner integration at this portion. So equal to, so let's focus inside. The limits are lower limit 2x squared, then upper limit 1 plus x function, then dy, and close. And the outside is dx. Now, since we are considering here dy, therefore, the other variable that we will consider as constant will be x. So that, that is equal to 0 to 1. So, integral of this is equal to x y squared over 2 and the limits are 2x squared 2 1 plus x then don't forget the x substitute the uh, limits so we have here 0 to 1 the up, upper limit first substitute y with the upper limit. So this is x times 1 plus x squared over 2 minus the lower limit. Substitute y with the lower limit 2x squared squared. And we have here dx equal to so we can actually remove here one half. So we can put one half already outside. Then we have here x times 1 plus 2x plus x squared minus x times 4 x raised to 4 dx. That is equal to one half integral of x plus two x squared plus x raised to three minus four x raised to five dx from zero to one. So one half so integrate. So we have one half x squared over 2 
plus 2x raised to 3 over 3 plus x raised to 4 over 4 minus 4x raised to 6 over 6 then limits 0 to 1 so 1 half substitute the upper limit first so we have here 1 over 2 plus 2 times 1 raised to 3 so we have 2 thirds plus 1 raised to 4 over 4 minus 4 times 1 raised to 6 and minus the lower limit we have there the lower limit 0 squared over 2 plus 2 times 0 plus 0 over 4 minus 4 times 0 over 6 is already equal to 0. So this is 1 half plus 2 thirds plus 1 fourth minus 4 six times 1 half that is equal to 3 eight or 0 0.375. Now we can check if this is correct at this portion here. Using the calculator, you have there 1 half times the integral of we have alpha x plus 2 alpha x squared plus alpha x raised to 3 minus 4 alpha x raised to 5. Lower limit here is 0, upper limit 1. So we have 3.8 or that is 0.375. So the answer here is correct. Let's go to the last example. We have here uh, evaluate the given integral. Again, let's start inside. So that is equal to the limit 0 to pi over 3. Then we have here the limit 0 to cosine y, x sine y, dx. Then put dy outside. Since we are considering dx, the constant here will be y. So this is now equal to so integrate inside. So if we integrate here, sine y becomes constant because of the y. So 0 pi over 3. Integrating it, we have x squared over 2 sine y. The limits 0 to cosine y dy. So substitute the limits. So, upper limit first. So, substitute x with cosine y. So, we have here cosine y squared over 2 sine y. Minus x is equal to 0 squared divided by 2 sine y. This is equal to 0. So we have here integral of uh, one half cosine squared y sine y dy. Then let u is equal to cosine y du is equal to negative sine y. So let's put one half outside. Then don't forget. Okay. Then we have here is equal to 
put here negative one half because we have here cosine squared y negative sine y dy limits are 0 to pi over 3 so we have now here negative one half power formula this is cosine 3 y over 3 limits 0 to pi over 3 so this is equal to negative one half cosine uh, substitute y with pi over 3 cosine pi over 3 raised to 3 all over 3 minus cosine 0 so that is equal to so in a calculator radian mode change it into radian mode cosine shift pi over 3 is equal to 0 0.5 so we have here I should complete it negative 1 half and we have cosine So cosine shift pi over 3 raised to 3 over 3 minus you have here cosine 0 over 3. So the answer here is point fifteen or that is seven forty eight. Seven over forty eight or zero point fifteen. Now let's check at this portion here. So let's check here. So we have here one half outside integral of so make sure you are you are using radian mode in your calculator alpha x raised to 3 then we have sine alpha x and 0 to shift pi over 3 oops so uh, so it should be cosine raised to 2, not raised to 3. Cosine raised to 2. So the answer here is 7 over 48, or that is 0. 0.15. Therefore, the answer here is correct. So remember the steps in solving double integrals. So what we see here, what we learned here is that if we have differential of dx here, so always make sure that uh, we get all x here and consider y as constant. So that if we arrive at the outside integration dy, what's left will be all y, or all variable y. Okay, so that's it for this video.